and I saw today's first guest because we are joined now by Dr. Lori V. And this is one of my favorite segments. So I'm so happy. It's a game show kind of feel. So happy to be a part of it. Great to see you too, Lori. Hi, how are you, Roxanne? Doing well, doing well. So we're going to play dumpster or no dumpster. You've come up with these items, these antique items that you've come across. We're trying to figure out are they less than $50 or more than $50? So I'm gonna say dumpster if it's less than and no dumpster if it's more than. Right, right. And all these objects come from our viewers. So send in your photos. You can send them in, of course, to the Facebook page at Tampa Bay's Morning Blend and I'll take a look and we'll play the game with them. Okay, Roxanne, you ready to go? All right, Dr. Lori, I am ready. Okay, um, first up are bisque figurines. Bisque is a type of ceramic. Uh, this is a pair of bisque figurines sent in. They're about six, seven inches tall, and they are hand-painted. They're made in Europe. They're actually German bisque figurines. And one, of course, is the washerwoman, and the other one is the man. Um, I really like the pieces. They're beautiful in his, in his long waistcoat. I like the pieces, and they're in very good condition. Condition always in, has an important place for value. What do you think? More than $50 think, for the pair or less than $50 for the pair? Dr. Lori, I'm going to say no dumpster. They're more okay. than $50. The reason is because of the fine detail you described. They're in good condition, a European collectible. So somebody out there is saying, I want those. Right. At $75 for the pair. So you're one for one, Roxanne. Okay. <laughs> there are no dumpsters. All right. What's the next item? Next item is this piece. It's an oak armchair. It's solid oak with a spindle back. It's from the early 1900s, just around the turn of the century. Notice the bent wood arms. Bent wood rockers are very popular. And then it has a nice, what's called a mustache crest rail. You see the top? It looks like a handlebar mustache right at the top of that chair. Yeah, yeah that's a nice piece. Early 1900s, solid oak with the bent wood arms. I really like this piece very much. What do you think? Mm, this is a tough one. If it was a rocking chair, like a, an actual rocking chair, I'd say no dumpster, but I'm going to say dumpster. Okay. It's a no dumpster. It's worth about $85. Okay. Yeah. See, I thought you were trying to trick me. I thought you were selling me hard on it, but now I see. <laughs> okay. No, I wasn't trying to trick you. Sometimes furniture is difficult because, you know, it's a lot about taste when it comes to furniture. So sometimes it's a little difficult. What I like about this is hard wood and a particular wood that's typical of that time period. Like mahogany is very typical in the, um, in the late 1700s. And then you see cherry and walnut in the 1800s. And then the 1900s, you start to see oak and rosewood and other types of wood. So it's a good one. That's a nice chair. Okay, what is our next item? See if I can redeem myself. You're doing okay, you're doing okay. This is a lantern. It's from the early years of the 1900s, probably somewhere between the 1930s and the 1950s, so early to mid 1900s. And these lanterns are made by Dietz. A lot of piece, a lot of people have these lanterns in a in a barn and such. It's not a railroad lantern. This would be a lantern that usually would be used on a farm or for agriculture to light the way. Ah, uh, I'm gonna say dumpster on this one. Just seems like. Be and you'd be right on this one. Why did you think dumpster though? I don't know. It seems like you could find similar items like that and it wouldn't cost much to manufacture. When there are a lot of them out there, usually value is lower. You know, you're seeing, of course, when a market is flooded with something, value is usually lower. So that one is indeed under $50 and it would be considered a dumpster for our game. But there's lots of good art antiques and collectibles out there probably right in your home. So look around and play with us every Wednesday. And Dr. Lori, how do we get in contact with you again if we find something that we'd like you to analyze? Sure, you can of course send it to the Facebook page at Tampa Bay's Morning Blend and post a picture there, or I'm at drlorivee.com. My YouTube channel where I teach people how to sell for top dollar is of course YouTube, Dr. Lori V as well. Love catching up with you, thanks so much. Good to see you, Roxanne.